Sperm whales have been washing up on the shores of northern Europe in higher numbers this year. Uh, so far, 30 already. I mean, that's kind of scary. Researchers uh, cutting the whales open have found that some have very large amounts of trash in their stomachs, uh, including things you might expect, like ginormous shrimping fishnets that are like 50 feet long. You know, but there's other crazy things like plastic car engine covers and, you know, the remains of plastic buckets. So all sorts of crap that is ending up in the, the stomachs of these ginormous whales um, that are dying in, in, in very high numbers this year. Um, so it, it, it's, it's very necessary that we first off, right out the bat, kind of mention that these are very young whales uh, between the age of 10 and 15. And you know, a lot of scientists that have, that have basically done autopsies on these, on these whales have come to the conclusion that they didn't necessarily die from the contents within their stomach. That didn't kill them. Uh, what, what could have killed them is unknown. There's a lot of different, you know, hypotheses out there. But ultimately what happens when they go into very shallow waters is, well, there's not enough pressure. They get disoriented and then they go a lot closer to the shore, end up beaching themselves. Um, but, but still, what's, what's crazy here and what this shows is that even though this isn't what's killing these whales off, Jason, yeah. this is like the new norm. The fact that they're cutting up basically every whale and they're finding pieces of cars and nets and all sorts of crap that clearly is inorganic, clearly doesn't belong in the stomachs of any creature, right? Doesn't belong in the oceans. So the fact that that's just something, you know, that's normal now is kind of terrifying. And, and, and we've gotten here in such a short period of time. This earth has existed for very long without humans. And then you come to us, industrialization, within a few decades, we've managed to ruin our oceans or get at least get close. And if we keep up, it's not going to be very long, you know, before these creatures cease to exist. Um, you know, so, so it's, it's, it's just worrying, you know, that these are the kinds of things that they're finding in all these beached whales and it's actually not even what's killing them. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's ironic that we've only recently kind of halted commercial whaling, um, although Japan still gets to whale under the auspices of it being for research. You know, we, we no longer go out on the high seas like Captain Ahab hunting for sp sperm whales to use, you know, ambergris and everything from perfume to soap or whatever. But guess what? Even though we're not, uh, it's no longer whale season um, in, in the seas, yeah, they've still got to deal with all this, like, refuse, which just ends up in the oceans. Yeah. And then by the way that they eat, basically just opening their mouths and like drinking in you know millions of gallons of ocean water to get plankton yeah of course they're gonna end up eating um, all this plastic debris and uh, and 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 the horrible shit that we've basically allowed to pollute the ocean yeah you're right it was in the 80s that the commercial fishing of, of whales from all countries really stopped you're right Japan still does it for research, which is complete bullshit. But, you know, uh, and you know, these, these few whales that we're talking about here, specifically in uh, Northern Europe that have been beaching in the UK and Germany, the Netherlands too, for example, they didn't die necessarily from these, uh, from these contents within their stomachs, but a lot of them do, because what happens is they, they eat a lot of this trash and they think that they're full uh, because their stomach is full, but unfortunately it's full of things that they cannot digest, like plastic and nets and other crap like that. So this is extremely sad and it's scary to see how far we've come along in such a short time as far as ruining our oceans.